everybody thanks for joining us for another Monday fly time video with old guy outdoors um, today we're going to do a variation on a copper John it's called a hillbilly copper John it uses uh, the only real differences are it uses black goose by its and you leave off the feather legs uh, so you just have the the copper with the goose biots and then the peacock curl and then the flashing um, it's very effective it's a nice fly to tie um, you'll like this one and I'll tell you what it moves nicely in the water because of the goose biots so here we go with the hillbilly copper john. All right, today we're going to start with a size 14 curved hook and a 2.4 millimeter brass bead. Then we're going to take some 025 uh, lead wire and wrap about three wraps. We're going to stop about midway uh, the length of the hook. This is where we're going to put our flashing, so that's fine. Then we're going to do several wraps with the uh, uh, 70 near black thread, and we'll wrap it past the uh, curve of the hook. We're going to take a couple pieces of uh, black goose biots, and this is now this is the hardest part for me of my big mitts but and take two of them and turn them opposite of each other so they flare away from the hook on either side then we're going to just attach that uh, to the hook and end our thread right behind the uh, lead wrap now we're going to take some fine copper wire and we'll attach that Wrap it up nice and smooth. Yep, yeah. we'll try to build it up so it doesn't uh, have any bumps or curves in it. There we go. And then we just take that and wrap away from us and wrap it right next to each other. Now, if you miss a little bit and you have a little bit of gap, the fish aren't going to mind. Honest. So try to keep them as close as you can, but don't throw it away just if you don't have it absolutely perfect so we're just gonna wrap that up because the black shows through pretty easily so uh, any any spacing is going to be pretty obvious but fish won't want that don't think we're going to take that up right behind the lead wrap trim it off do a few wraps over top of it to seal that loose end in then bring our thread just barely up onto the lead wrap. Now we're going to take some pearlescent flashing and attach a piece. This is the extra wide, about an eighth inch wide. And then we're going to take some thin skin, um, about an eighth inch wide, and attach it on top. Alright, like that. Now we're going to take two pieces of peacock curl and attach them right on top of where we attach the flashing. There we go. Move our thread up behind the bead. And then we're going to just take some wraps around with the two pieces, keeping them right beside each other. And then we're going to fix it with several wraps behind the bead, trim off the tags. There we go. Now we're going to pull the flashing over top. First the thin skin, and then the pearl flashing. All right. There we go. Do a couple wraps over that. Trim off your excess as close as you can get. Then we're just simply going to do a couple more wraps and then whip finish. Now, on my flies lately, I like to do double whip finishes because they hold up better and I don't have to do head cement 
And there you go with the hillbilly copper jar. Great fly. You'll enjoy this one. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. So um, please like and share our videos. Hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. And remember, until next time, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.